Lockhart Radio. Well, it would appear that Janet Yellen is saying not so fast, President Biden, as she begins to walk back some of the very confident statements that he made at the top of this week regarding the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse and rebuilding. Uh, U.S. Treasurer Janet Yellen was on MSNBC this past Wednesday when she said the same thing that you and I said while we were here together last week, and that was that that bipartisan money for the infrastructure law that it could potentially be helpful. She goes on to add it was her expectation that ultimately there will be insurance payments in part to cover this, but we don't want to allow worrying about where the financing will come from, from the holdup. They don't want that to hold up the reconstruction, which we all know it will not. Her comments came one day after the president said that it was intent, his intention to uh, have the federal government pay for it, i.e. you and i.e. me and everybody else that's in the United States that pays taxes. He said that he did not want anybody to have any worry about it, but that we were going to pay for the entire reconstruction of the bridge. And he also added that he expected for Congress to support his effort. He said that while the effort will take some time, the people of Baltimore can, quote, count on us, close quote. But when he was asked by a reporter whether or not the company that manages the ship had any insurance or any of that, wouldn't we expect for them to handle it? Biden said that he did not want to hold everything up and that they would just take care of it. Hmm. Well, the large vessel that appeared to catch on fire becoming before becoming disabled, based on the footage that we saw, shows the lights going out multiple times on the vessel in question prior to the impact, suggesting the collision may have been due to a power failure. Hmm. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief.